Transformer bushing failures can be catastrophic. 22% of forced transformer outages are due to bushing failure, and 50% of failures end in fires, which can destroy the transformer and even damage nearby equipment and buildings. There are two predominant technologies used for online bushing monitors. Sum of Current's methodology monitors for imbalance in the bushing leakage current to detect deterioration of bushings. Under balanced system conditions, the vector sum of leakage currents is zero, assuming the power factor and capacitance of each bushing is identical. Voltage reference calculates power factor from the bushing leakage current and voltage reference signal for detecting degradation of bushings. Each bushing is measured independently when using the voltage reference technique, making it less affected by grid fluctuations. The sum of current test requires a current input from each phase of the high and low side bushings to be monitored. This is the most standard configuration and easily retrofitted for legacy transformers. Voltage reference requires an additional voltage input from each bushing to be monitored. These voltage inputs can make retrofitting reference methodology cost prohibitive if a voltage source is not already available because of additional hardware and cabling. The sum of current method will provide stable and balanced current under most three-phase system operating conditions. This imbalance current is small, but finite, since no power system is equally balanced and the bushings are never identical. The rate of change of this current imbalance is useful for detecting bushing health changes. Power system induced voltage fluctuations from undergrounded power sources, such as distributed energy resources, can result in system imbalances which may impact the sensitivity of sum of current calculations. In these circumstances, the voltage reference method may be used since they are single-phase calculations. While the voltage reference method will improve the accuracy of the online power factor and capacitance measurements, one common misconception is that online and offline measurements should match. It's important to understand the differences to maintain confidence in online monitoring. Offline testing is typically performed at 10 kV and normalized to an ambient temperature of approximately 25 degrees Celsius. Unfortunately, this is not a true representation of the bushing's normal operating condition. When bushings are energized at line potential and operating at higher temperatures, the stresses in the bushing are increased. This makes the online monitor more sensitive and may result in cases where the online and offline values do not match. By supporting both techniques in a single bushing health monitor, it allows asset managers to select method that best suits the installation and application concerns. The sum of current method has proven to be easy to retrofit and is a proven, reliable method unless there are excessive system voltage fluctuations. The voltage reference technique can help deal with some of the challenges being posed by grid fluctuations. In both cases, the monitor continuously takes measurements and provides a warning or alarms on key parameters. This allows asset managers to make smart decisions and plan ahead. Dynamic Ratings offers a variety of options for bushing and electrical partial discharge monitoring. To learn more about transformer bushing monitoring, visit www.dynamicratings.com.